Another day, another story. Hello and welcome to this video on rubella, also known as German measles. In this video, we will cover everything you need to know about rubella, including its history, transmission, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. What is rubella? Rubella is a highly contagious viral infection that is typically mild and resolves on its own within a few weeks. However, the virus can cause serious complications for pregnant women and their unborn babies, including miscarriage, stillbirth, or birth defects such as deafness, blindness, heart defects, and intellectual disabilities. History of Rubella Rubella was first described in the mid-18th century as a mild febrile illness with a rash that typically resolved within a few days. The name, rubella, comes from the Latin word for, little red, which refers to the characteristic rash. The virus was not identified until the mid-20th century when scientists developed the ability to grow viruses in cell culture. The first rubella vaccine was developed in the 1960s, which greatly reduced the number of cases of rubella and its associated complications. About rubella virus. The rubella virus is a single-stranded RNA virus that belongs to the genus Rubivirus in the family Tagovaridae. The virus is spherical in shape and is approximately 60 to 70 nanometers in diameter. It is enveloped by a lipid bilayer derived from the host cell membrane, which contains two viral glycoproteins on its surface. The virus has a nucleocapsid core that contains the RNA genome, as well as viral proteins that are involved in virus replication and assembly. The rubella virus genome is approximately 9.7 kilobases in length and encodes two open reading frames that produce non-structural and structural proteins. How rubella transmits? Rubella is primarily spread through respiratory droplets that are expelled when an infected person coughs or sneezes. The virus can also be spread through contact with the saliva or nasal secretions of an infected person, such as by sharing food or utensils. Rubella can also be transmitted from a pregnant woman to her unborn baby through the placenta, which can cause serious complications such as miscarriage, stillbirth, or congenital rubella syndrome. Pathogenicity of rubella. The pathogenicity of rubella is related to its ability to infect and damage cells in the body, particularly those of the immune system and developing fetus. The virus enters the body through the respiratory tract and replicates in the upper respiratory tract and lymph nodes. It then spreads to other organs, including the spleen, liver, and bone marrow. The virus also has the ability to cross the placenta and infect the developing fetus, leading to congenital rubella syndrome. The pathogenicity of rubella is influenced by a number of factors, including the age and immune status of the host, the strain of the virus, and the timing of infection during pregnancy. In general, rubella infection in children and adults is mild and self-limited, but can lead to more severe complications in pregnant women and their unborn babies. Congenital rubella syndrome can cause a range of birth defects, depending on the timing of infection during pregnancy. What are the symptoms of rubella? The symptoms of rubella typically appear 14 to 21 days after exposure to the virus and can last for 1 to 3 days. Some people infected with rubella may not experience any symptoms at all, while others may experience mild to moderate symptoms, including 1. Rash. The rash caused by rubella typically begins on the face and then spreads to the rest of the body. 1. It usually lasts for 3 to 5 days and is often the first symptom of the infection. 2. Fever. Many people with rubella experience a low-grade fever, which can range from 99 to 100.5 degrees Fahrenheit. 3. Lymphadenopathy. Swollen lymph nodes, particularly behind the ears and at the back of the neck, are another common symptom of rubella. 4. Headache. Rubella can cause a mild to moderate headache, which may be accompanied by muscle aches and pains. 5. Sore throat. Some people with rubella may experience a sore throat, although this is not a common symptom. 6. Conjunctivitis. Rubella can cause redness, irritation, and discharge in the eyes, which is known as conjunctivitis. 7. Joint pain. Rubella can cause joint pain and stiffness, particularly in adults. It's important to note that rubella can be particularly dangerous for pregnant women, as it can cause serious birth defects and complications. If you suspect you have rubella, or have been exposed to someone with the infection, it's important to seek medical attention right away. The diagnosis of rubella. Diagnosis of rubella is typically made based on clinical symptoms, such as the presence of a rash, combined with a history of exposure to the virus or recent travel to an area where rubella is endemic. Laboratory testing can confirm the diagnosis and is particularly important for pregnant women and their unborn babies, as well as for individuals with atypical or severe symptoms. 
The most common laboratory test for diagnosis of rubella is a serological test, which measures the levels of rubella-specific antibodies in the blood. IgM antibodies typically appear within a week of symptom onset and indicate recent or acute infection, while Ig antibodies indicate previous exposure or immunity to the virus. A positive IgM result is generally considered diagnostic for rubella infection. Other laboratory tests that may be used to confirm a diagnosis of rubella include viral culture or polymerase chain reaction PCR, to detect the presence of the virus in bodily fluids, such as throat swabs or urine samples. How to prevent rubella? Rubella can be prevented through vaccination, which is typically administered as part of the measles mumps rubella MMR, vaccine. The MMR vaccine is a safe and effective way to protect against rubella. The MMR vaccine is recommended for all children, with the first dose administered between 12 and 15 months of age, and a second dose between 4 and 6 years of age. Vaccination is also recommended for adolescents and adults who have not previously been vaccinated or who are unsure of their vaccination status. Women who are planning to become pregnant should be vaccinated at least one month prior to conception, as rubella infection during pregnancy can have serious consequences for the unborn baby. In addition to vaccination, other strategies to prevent the spread of rubella include practicing good hygiene, such as washing hands frequently and covering the mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing, avoiding contact with individuals who are known to be infected with rubella, staying home from school or work if you or your child is experiencing symptoms of rubella, treatment of rubella. There is no specific treatment for rubella, as it is a viral infection that typically resolves on its own within a few days to a week. Treatment usually focuses on managing the symptoms of the infection, such as fever and discomfort. Pregnant women who contract rubella may require close monitoring and treatment to reduce the risk of complications to the unborn baby. It is important to seek medical attention if you or your child develop symptoms of rubella, especially if you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant. Conclusion In conclusion, rubella is a contagious viral infection that can cause serious complications, especially in pregnant women. It is important to get vaccinated against rubella to prevent the spread of the virus. If you suspect you have rubella, it is important to get tested and seek medical attention. Thank you for watching and stay safe.